Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here with video number 6 on sampling and estimation. In the previous 5 videos, I have already covered uh, the concept of S2 sampling and estimation. S2 is a part of A-level mathematics, CAIE syllabus. And in this video, I will just cover 3 past paper questions to have a quick recap. Uh, otherwise, in my previous videos, I have explained all the concept with the help of past paper question, which were little challenging as well. So, if you just want to have uh, past paper questions of different types, so you can watch this video. So, let's see. So, this question I have picked up from June 18, variant 7-1 and question 1. So, random sample of 75 values of a variable x gives the following result. So, if you know the summarized form of the data and you have to find out unbiased estimate for the population mean and variance. So, what formula do you reply, apply? Do you remember? x bar is equal to sigma x over n. So, this divided by this will give you unbiased estimate for mean. And unbiased estimate for variance is the formula is n over n minus 1 sigma x square over n minus this is mean mean square. You see this is mean? Exactly same. Okay? Mean square. So you are substituting and then you are calculating. So it's a very simple question. Um, my question from you is do you remember what is unbiased estimate? Because you need to understand what he is asking here. Basically, unbiased estimate for a population mean and variance we find out when we do not know about the population parameter. So, whatever the population this question or this data is representing, you don't know its mean, you don't know its variance. So, with the help of the sample of 75 values, you are trying to get the values of the population. So, this represents the population mean and this represents the population variance and this is called unbiased estimate because you have calculated it with the help of sample. So next, let's see the next question. This question is about the picking up of random sample with the help of the number is generated randomly. right? This is also a very common question in past paper. Though it is a very simple question but uh, at times I have noticed the student do make mistakes. So that's why I have picked up this question. So, for example, in your class, there are 265 students and for certain thing, you need to pick up, um, pick up some students, right? So, so, the first thing is that you will allot a number to each student, right? There are how many students in your class? 265. So, if you start allotting number, each one have number 1, 2, 3, 4, will go up till 265. And for example, you have to pick up only four student and everyone should have equal chance to be picked up that is very important so the person who has a number one and the person who has a number 265 if you see it is a three digit number and it is a one digit number and the person who will have a number allotted between 10 and 99 will be two digit number so in this case what do we do we always give three digit number to each so that they have equal chance so one will be called as zero zero one the one who has two will be called as zero zero two the one who has for example 15 he will be called as zero one five so that everyone has a three digit representation okay so now the first two random numbers which are generated using calculator or computer are given here you will not be asked to generate this number in the question. The generated numbers will be given to you. And using those numbers, you will uh, pick up your required number of people. Okay. So, for example, I have to pick up four numbers. I mean, four students from this uh, generated number. So, if you see on each side, I have 0 point, 0 point. So, I can ignore it. And let's see. My first number is, for example, because I have to pick up three digits number, is 213, I have mentioned here. 165, I have mentioned here. 448, I have mentioned here. 073, mentioned here. 
165 mentioned here 196 mentioned here so now if you see here your maximum number you have allotted to a student is 265 so if any number is going beyond this range you will cut it out and that is the reason i have cut out this one but what is the reason why did i cut out this one can you think yes of course because we have already picked up that student the number 165 has already been picked up so how can you pick up the same number or same person again so that's why you cross out this also so now the, the student you have picked up have number 213 165 073 196 so this is how you pick up your numbers make sense now i think i must mention here somebody may think why we are not starting from here like 0 2 1 3 1 6 so let's see if i pick up three digits number from here then what will happen right so you can put a video on pause and try it out then i will show you the solution okay so let's see i'm showing because i'm not putting it on hold <laughs> okay so see using these two series which are given to me in the question if i start picking it up from 0 to 1 so my one number will be 0 to 1 just a minute it is disturbing me okay and then it will be 316 then 544 you can see here i have mentioned here and at the end one single digit will be left behind fine suppose we are letting it go then 007 then 316 then 519 and then again six left and if you see in this generation this is also randomly this is out this is out this is out this is out because they all are above or more than 265 the maximum number we have given to a student is 265 so you see selection like this is not helping you to select four students so when you will do it automatically you will realize ke how it should be picked up if at a at that moment something comes in your mind but when you will try to figure it out it will, it will not give you the right answer so you will use common sense and then apply the next technique so now let's see another question okay so this is the last question of this video this question i have picked up from november 18 variant 73 question 3 now what this question is talking about population has mean 12 and it has standard deviation 2.5 and you have to calculate a large sample size n uh, from this population and sample mean is denoted by x bar now what is the condition given to you it is given to you that the probability of sample mean less than 12.2 is 97.5 percent which is 0 0.975 so this information is given to you and question is saying find the value of n so what comes in your mind you know mean you know standard deviation and you know you know what probability also right which is 0 0.975 so let's see how you will solve it as usual first of all put down the information in pointers what is given to you in the question mean is 12 standard deviation is 2.5 and it is mentioned here that sample size is large right so your distribution will be this this is extremely important if you will not write distribution correctly then when you will use z formula remember z formula if you don't i will show you in a while then you will not be able to apply the correct values because it is a sample mean so that's why my distribution will be mu sigma square over n okay and i'm applying confidence limit theorem here because sample size is large so it will give me approximate normal okay so now this is given to me in the question i am changing my sample mean into a standardized form z what is z do you remember i hope you remember it is a standard normal distribution anyway so so now z is equals to x minus mu if you remember the formula it is x bar minus mu over sigma over root n z is equals to this so i'm using this formula substituting the values here right and n is unknown the rest of the values i know 
and z value for the confidence and uh, for the percentage the probability which is given to you which was what 0 0.975 in the question so it is equals to 1.960 right you can read from the table so you are substituting the values here and then you are simply doing calculation and the answer is 600.25 because question was saying probability of x bar less than 12.2 now if you remember here the main question was saying probability of sample mean is less than 12.2 is 97 percent so 12.2 is actually what the x value here okay and this is your z value so he's talking about it should be less than this value so when my answer will come 600.25 I will take the value less than this, the integer value. So that's why I'm taking 600. If the question was saying more than, then you will consider the next integer value. Right? I hope it makes sense. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. My next video will be on hypothesis. So there are two, three requests in line. And after hypothesis, I will go to M1 work power and energy. Somebody has requested for that. So, if you have learned something, please press like button. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.